Lakpa Sherpa is a pioneer in the world of extreme mountaineering. In the year 2000, she became the first Nepali woman to successfully summit Mount Everest. Making West Hartford, Connecticut her home since 2002, Ms. Sherpa successfully summited Mount Everest for the 10th time in 2022, the most of any woman in the world. I had a dream, really long term dream, my childhood dreams, 100%, I want to summit Everest. It's such an extreme sport, mountaineering and mountain climbing, and especially Mount Everest. I mean, to do it 10 times is just incredible. And it's an inspiration for a lot of people. I wish I had the ability to climb Everest 10 times. Lakpa Sherpa was born in a remote village in the Makalu region of the Nepalese Himalayas in 1973, one of 11 children. With no schooling available to girls, Lakpa's interest in nature began at a very early age. I see my eye open, just this beautiful nature mountain around me. And this mountain so close, my touch my heart. Lakpa's father worked as a local guide and merchant while her mother took care of their children at home. Lakpa's mother warned her tomboy daughter that working outside with the boys would make her unmarriageable. And my mom told me I only must do girl jobs. And I really hate the girl jobs, you know go up in the mountains, and I see the animal, red panther, so I see the blue sheep. My mom not understand, she never not see that. After years of experience working as a porter for climbing teams, Lakpa told her male relatives that she was ready to climb Mount Everest. And I said, wow, I can do it, because you, you summit, I can look like a walk and look like you. You know, I can carry more habit than you. But you have to prove people wrong. It, it, you have to go against the societal norm, which is very difficult to do. And kudos to these pioneers. And people say, what? You are a woman. You cannot climb in Everest. I really want to go. I can, I can, I, all the same. I know I can, but people don't believe me. Ms. Sherpa escaped the service culture when she pushed hard to be part of the Nepali Women Millennium Expedition in 2000. Lakpa was the only climber on that team to successfully summit Mount Everest. I'm the first Nepali woman uh, who uh, summit. Uh, I give a good opportunity to Nepali women. They say, look, Lakpa, she not die. You know, we can, we can summit maybe one time. I'm very happy. That is my gift. Young girls need to see people that look like them doing what they want to do. So if they see somebody climbing a mountain or summiting Mount Everest, they would say, hey, that person looks like me. I can do that too. I think Lopka has been instrumental in helping women be more themselves in, in, in Nepal, encouraging them to climb and encouraging them to be more. And she's really looked up to. Soon after her successful summit in 2000, Lakpa Sherpa met a Connecticut-based Romanian-born mountain climber in Kathmandu. Lakpa moved to West Hartford, Connecticut in 2002, and the two were married. Along the way, they had two daughters and continued to summit Mount Everest at every opportunity. Michael Cotis from the Hartford Current at the time, I had mentioned that somebody had moved to Connecticut that had climbed Mount Everest and they were looking to go back. And it was, you know, George and Lakpa. By 2004, that group of climbers formed the Connecticut Everest Expedition and made their way to China to begin their mountaineering adventure. We spent a month and a half acclimatizing. We made it up to Camp 3 and we started climbing from Camp 3 and at like 11 o'clock at night. We made it to the summit at a little past 7 in the morning and we stayed on the summit for 30 minutes and then descended the, the mountain. I summit, yes. Five people summit, I think two people no summit. I listen to Lapka, and I owe my success, I think, to, to listening to what she had to say. The Connecticut Everest expedition was fraught with competing interests and storylines. A violent public altercation between Lakpa and her husband sparked a media frenzy in the mountaineering world. One is mountain is to make me heal myself. Mountains are my doctors. Every single day work and work, you know, we must have a, also enjoyed the nature. By 2016, Lakpa Sherpa was divorced and had summited Mount Everest a total of seven times. That same year, the BBC selected her as one of its 100 most inspirational and influential women in the world. 
Today, Lakpa has her own mountain climbing guide business, Cloudscape Climbing. I want to share my experience. I want to guide these people. I want to help them. Hiking makes really happy. Mostly I focus my two children going to college. School is very important. In 2022, Lakpa returned to her beloved Mount Everest to attempt to summit the mountain for an unprecedented 10th time. She brought her youngest daughter, Shiny, on this expedition to begin teaching her how to climb at high altitudes. I think Lapka's daughters are inspired and, and interested in learning how to climb and want to climb. Shiny's born in Connecticut. And I, I put them, she's there, she's good. She's ice climbing, she try everything. Lakpa Sherpa returned from her 2022 expedition as the only woman in the world who has successfully climbed Mount Everest 10 times, an unimaginable accomplishment. Lapka's a wonderful person. She's inspiring and she's come and made a life for herself here in Connecticut. She's raised two really wonderful young daughters. They're climbing mountains together and it is really inspirational. 